Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss five reasons you might consider saddle hunting. That's right. Five reasons why you might consider saddle hunting. Some of the answers may actually surprise you. So let's get to the video. I want to preface this and start out by saying I specifically only hunt public land. So for me, and especially this year, I'm actually hunting a new area in East Texas that I've never hunted before. So one of the benefits to me in my mind is this is a lightweight way to get into a new area. And I'll tell you kind of what I'm doing, guys. I'll do a lot of what you might call scout hunting. And when I say lightweight, we also need to understand by the time you have your saddle, your climbing sticks, a platform, or a ring of steps or any of that, you're probably realistically only going to be saving maybe five to eight pounds because all that stuff adds up to weight. And if you've got a nine or 10 pound tree stand, you're not saving much weight. So probably a better way to say it would be, I've got a slimmer profile to make it through the thicker stuff, especially when I'm scouting, because what I typically do is I'll find an area on Onyx, I'll look do my best scouting that on onyx and then when i get out there i go until i find good sign or fresh sign so i in my mind having that thinner profile because i don't have the stand that's grabbing a hold of brush and green briars and that kind of stuff the second reason that you might consider hunting out of a saddle is this i've been in situations before where i got set up early in the morning and i noticed that I'm seeing deer 50, 75 yards away that are crossing in a place that maybe I didn't see on Onyx. I find it easier for me and quieter to take that small amount of stuff off the tree and then move. So it makes it a lot easier to move if I need to. Again, I'm bow hunting. So being at, having that ability to move quickly and efficiently is another reason that I chose to do this. Another thing that I enjoy when I'm saddle hunting is when I'm in an area and I find a place, and this is another perk, I have found that there's a lot more trees available that I could put a tiny platform in. A lot of the areas that I'm hunting, especially in this new area, has a lot of new growth and I can get into a much smaller tree. I'm always constantly looking if I find a good area that I know that I may come back to or return later on, especially when we start getting closer to the rut. I'm constantly looking for a place that I can hang my tree stand for those all day hunts. And then lastly, one of the things that I truly love about hunting out of the saddle is I'm connected to the tree from the time I start up my steps all the way till I get up and I'm in my little platform that I've got, a ring of steps, take your pick. And I just feel like it's a safer option, especially hunting solo. Everything we do in life has some sort of risk associated with it, whether it be motorcycles or hunting or fishing or any of the kayak fishing. There's always a fair amount of risk involved with any kind of outdoor activity. And I just feel like, especially going out and hunting solo, I like the fact that the saddle is gonna be, is gonna be a much more efficient way and in my mind, like I said, it feels a little bit safer than maybe the tree stand or the climbing stand for that matter. In next week's video, we're going to be discussing comfort because I'm going to tell you right now, the saddle is not going to be the most comfortable option out there to deer hunt with. So while I'm out scout hunting, I'm also looking for places that I can put my hang on tree stand which I absolutely love. I've made a video recently on that if you want to click over there and I will correct a mistake that I made in that video. Lone Wolf has not gone out of business. They've just quit making the assault too. Thank you for the viewer that pointed that out. We read every one of our comments. We always want to hear from you. I know that this being a short list of five, we're not going to be able to cover everything. List some of your reasons if you're already saddle hunting, what your pros are about saddle hunting. And in next week's video, I've already mentioned the saddle's not the most comfortable setup out there. However, I like how efficient it is, slim line, and I can go through thicker brush, a lot more quiet, if you will and I feel like I can cover a lot more ground quicker using the saddle, and I feel a lot safer knowing that I'm out there by myself. I know I can't cover everything. Comment down below, let us know what some of your reasons are, what got you into saddle hunting. 
And I will tell you this, these videos are inspired by a friend of mine that I've started hunting with this year. He's been able to go with me a couple of times already. He's never hunted out of a saddle. He's been either in a climber or a lock-on. And that's what inspired these videos as I'm trying to help a buddy out. If you like this video at all, consider giving it the thumbs up. We appreciate your likes. It truly helps our content. And the more people that like the video, it helps the algorithm and YouTube and all that blah, blah, blah stuff. At the end of the day, we just want to try to help everybody that we can. We're using YouTube as the platform that we can try to help others learn more about hunting, bow hunting, bow hunting safely some of the tips and tactics that we're using. Next week's video, we're going to be discussing five ways that you can make the saddle more comfortable for your hunts. And we look forward to hearing from you guys. I'm fixing to head out. Me and my buddy are going out for another time to chase deer this afternoon. Look for some of those videos to be coming out soon as well. And until next week's video comes out, be sure to check out one of our video playlists that we've made especially for you. I hope you all have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.